Tony Echo India Five Echo Mike here, and in this video, I'm going to uh, review and uh, demonstrate the operating of the uh, EGV Plus version two. Uh, it's a three-band uh, transceiver, CW only, QRP, and uh, it covers the 20, 30, and 40 meter bands. It's designed by Echo Alpha 3, Golf Charlie, Yankee, Javier, and uh, I'll give the, uh, the relevant websites later on uh, for anyone that wants to uh, have a look at the website or uh, perhaps buy one of these rigs. I'm very, very pleased with it. I built it from the kit, and uh, I didn't buy the custom... Uh, uh, case I built my own case uh, which is a little bit shiny here and it's, it's causing uh, some reflections it's copper plate so I got it cut down and uh, made it to size and uh, there's five controls on the front and uh, also the display I'm gonna switch it on now and one by one I'll go through the uh, uh, the controls and explain what each one is for so when I switch on I get the welcome message here uh, so watch out for that so there you go it's uh, it's on now oh. Okay, we got in where <laughs> we got the contact there with that one which was uh, just quite apt for the uh, for the video I look up the call sign later I better put in the time what time is it here it's uh, 22 UTC right okay I'll log it later so uh, that's uh, that's nice to get a uh, started up with uh, with a QSO uh, the controls here, as I said, this is the attenuator, so I'm going to show it. I'm going to attenuate uh, the signal there coming from that station. So uh, there's the attenuator in action. So we've plenty of volume there. Uh, the on-off switch is self-explanatory, and this is a, a bandpass filter for receive. It only works on receive, but it has to be adjusted for uh, for each of the bands. So uh, we're on the 20 meter band at the moment. I'll just demonstrate if I turn off, if I turn it the wrong direction, and I don't peak it. So the signal disappears. I'm down at the uh, what will be the 40 meter uh, section now. So you can hear nothing. So there's no uh, signals getting through from 20 meter up again now. Okay, in this section, I'm going to show how uh, 
you can change the different uh, parameters for the keyer. Uh, there's an automatic keyer built in. It has, uh, I think it's four memories. I have one memory already uh, programmed in there with my call sign. Uh, we'll just uh, try a snippet of it. Okay, so that's uh, that's my pre-programmed CQ. Uh, if I want to change any of the key or parameters like the speed or the tone frequency or... Oh, there we go again. I'll stop that. Uh, if I wanted to change the frequency of the uh, side tone, uh, I press the, the programming button. I hold it in for... Uh, a while till I hear the uh, the letter R uh, responding, and then I input uh, what is it for the uh, just the side tone? It's F for for side tone. So I'm going to change the side tone frequency now, and I can up and down the frequency with the twin paddles here. So let's try that. So R, and then. I'm too slow. I have to input the letter F. So let's try it again. So it's given me the, uh, it's responded. So I can change the frequency. So uh, one paddle brings the frequency up and uh, the other one brings it down. So once I'm satisfied then, I press the program button and it's accepted. Gives me the letter R. So that's the, the programming uh, of the keyer. And uh, I think I'm fairly satisfied there. Yeah, I'm satisfied enough with the, with the frequency okay, there. Okay, there's the rear panel. It's not a very pretty sight. <laughs> the holes are uh, uh, for the uh, sockets and the switches are oversized and there's a, a method in my madness there because if I want to remove the printed circuit board I have to have some leeway for lifting the lifting the uh, uh, the uh, plugs and sockets etc. So Obviously, the it's a BNC connector here for the antenna. Uh, unusually, there's a switch here. Uh, there's two sockets here. One is for uh, earphones, and the other is for uh, an extension speaker. And uh, you can switch over between the two of them. So it's a selection. It's not a case of uh, uh, plugging in and plugging out. But anyway, that's okay. No problem with that. I ventilation holes here, and uh, internally I fitted a fan. I uh, have a little twelve volt fan to f uh, to uh, cool the uh, the transistor, the final transistor. Uh, the power socket is here, and I I I, I fitted a uh, a fuse as well. Uh, the original kit doesn't come with a fuse or an on-off switch, so uh, I, I, I procured them from my junk box. And finally a look at the uh, the lid or the top panel. Uh, nothing much to remark on there except I have a speaker grill and also a cooling grill down there for the... Uh, it's just above the transistor, the output transistor, which can get uh, a little bit warm. Uh, if you're sending CQ over a long period of time. So I have a 12 volt fan that I bought from Amazon and uh, it just uh, keeps it cool. And as I said, there's the speaker grill. Uh, the, uh, the settings, uh, having built the, uh, the transmitter, or the transceiver, I should say, uh, I had to uh, 
calibrate uh, the upper and the lower side bands which is done easily enough from the menu and I also had to calibrate uh, the uh, well the voltage readout but also uh, calibrate the crystals just to account for any discrepancies uh, that might be from the, the basic program as it's uh, as it's loaded so I've done that here it's very very easily done I'll just go through the menu items here uh, as we go through them here oops I'm, I, I'm uh, yeah okay when I put my hand there the focus changes so we get, we, we select the band there by uh, you can see 40 meter band there if I wanted the 40 meter band I just press the the rotary encoder there and I'm in the 40 meter band so we go back again to 20 so we're back on 20 there the other uh, menu items are uh, well, as I said there, there's RIT on or off. Uh, take my hand away and let it focus. Uh, below that again then is the, uh, I can either select the upper or the lower side of the uh, carrier, upper side band or lower side band CW. And uh, below that again, I can select the steps. If I want fast steps or slow steps, uh, there are two different options there. So uh, we won't, don't, no need to go into that. Then we have the settings, uh, the menu settings. So we select that. And uh, as I said earlier, there's uh, just a BFO. Uh, I'm not going to change it, but if I press here, uh, oh, sorry, that's the, uh, that's the, uh, okay, we'll do it again. We'll go back. Uh, so yeah it's, it's it's focusing there uh, so the first thing i have to do actually it's it's okay there calibrate the crystal so the the, the program as it's loaded from the arduino type uh, processor uh, it assumes that the crystals are exactly on frequency but uh, they're not. Uh, so I had to tune, uh, I had to change the, uh, 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 I had to compensate for that with the, uh, with the, uh, there it is. Uh, it's normally set at 800 uh, when it loaded, but I had to set it at 406, and I calibrated that using my uh, uh, ICOM 7 300 uh, receiver till I got my, uh, the two frequencies on both rigs uh, together uh, identical so i'm not going to change that i don't need to change that so we'll just accept it and then there's the uh, uh the voltage ones i can change the voltage i can calibrate the voltage readout no need to change that and above that then is the bfo the very top one there is the bfo adjust and if I select that menu, I get both of the uh, the upper and the lower side band of the uh, CW. And uh, I'm not going to adjust them because I've calibrated it at this stage. But you can see there, 4913092. Uh, it's slightly at variance with the uh, load uh, parameters. But uh, that just suits my rig. Uh, it's particular to my rig. So I have it set up there now. And uh, that's, I'll just accept that now. Uh, okay. And uh, then there's <laughs> the big reset one. If you have any problems or you want to go back to the factory reset, which I, are, which I am and going to do now, uh, because I, I'm quite satisfied with everything that's, uh, that's set up.